This is one Lego piece. This is two Lego pieces. At this point, you can basically build anything you want with it. But in today's video, we're gonna use 2,000 Lego pieces and try to build a massive Ninjago Cloud Kingdom mock. So at the end of the video, we'll find out if this is actually a cool mock. So I went to you guys, my awesome fans, and asked for the best ideas for this Cloud Kingdom mock. We got some good ones. So the first comment here is, do it. Bruh. Let's do it. Let's start with minifigures. So I love making my characters a legacy version, but for possession, they only have one legacy set that they actually came out with, and that's Zane's Titanium Mech, which only comes with Zane. So these masks don't actually exist, so I have to make my own. I went on to Bricklink.com, which is a huge store where you can buy basically any type of piece you want, and I got 20 Legacy Kai Ninja masks. A couple days later, they showed up in the mail. We are set. It's time to paint these things. I got my Posca pens out. So for Kai, all I had to do was paint a black bandana along his forehead. For Cole, I actually painted his mask black, and then the bandana is dark gray. For Jay, I painted his mask blue, bandana black. I gave him their original deep stone suits. Each ninja has a different type of arrow blade. But I replaced all the bright colored claw pieces for totally black claw pieces. And then for the diamond in the middle, I kind of changed up the colors to make it look even more show accurate. So Moro goes for about $25. Bruh. I did purchase Lloyd's head for a couple dollars. Then I got Lloyd's Spinjitsu Burst body and then put that awesome hair and it looks like evil Lloyd. So this person right here said you should have those people who write the scrolls, which is an awesome idea. So I made a little boy with Lloyd's hair and then I made two other cloak writers, Fenwick. This guy is an absolute beast of a man. <laughs> Pretty awesome minifigure right there. Make it so that the ninjas can talk and so that it glows. Um, I'm Kai. Do you know I can glow? Watch this. Boom, I can glow. Add the Sword of Sanctuary. We have the Sword of Sanctuary done. Now all we need to do is build a huge building where you can put the Sword of Sanctuary. So before we get to building on this, there are a lot of pieces I don't have and I really, really need for this build. One being the one by one humps so I went to the Lego store and ordered 200 of these pieces. So I got a whole bunch of other pieces I would totally need for this mock. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the gate, a bridge, and then the big building. I used a bunch of rounded white pieces to make a bunch of fluffy clouds along the bottom and then started making this rock structure up. I made a bridge going over to the entrance. So I built two pillars kind of going up, put a bunch of little details on it. There was one thing I forgot to order. And this was gold gate pieces for the front gate of this whole entire city. I had to go back to lego.com and purchase two more pieces. Hopefully they would come in time for this to be done. So this fan right here said I should make the room where Destiny is made. The first story will be the room where they write Destiny. So the carpet in this room is really cool. It's like a triangular red and dark red carpet. Thankfully, I didn't have too much floor to cover with this because I used up all my triangular pieces. So I built up on the walls by using flat one by two tiles on the side of the wall gave this way more texture. Now it's time to use those 200 little hump pieces I'd ordered. I used this long gold curved piece and angled it up and then I added a bunch of these little tile pieces. It was quite difficult to make the whole roof fit together. After a couple hours of work it looked good. So this guy commented it should have a huge shelf with scrolls and books and that is a really really good idea. I got a couple different crate pieces then I just loaded it with scrolls. I attached to the wall I built two desks two chairs and two little pots of ink and then I got this horrific comment Jay spilling the ink on Darius parchment paper this is one of the saddest moments in Ninjago for me personally I did it I got a Marco and scribbled all over this lady piece I'm sorry Darius my man the next floor I added a bunch of windows in. I wanted to make something where like the sort of sanctuary is like revealed. So I'm not that good at Technic, but if we want to function in this set, what choice do I have? After much trial and error, and my brother had to help me a bunch on this one, that you turn a knob on the front and it goes from a scroll, turns around, and it's a sort of sanctuary. Some clouds flip up. So I used up another 40 of those hump pieces and the pile kept getting smaller and smaller. I built up around the Technic function and made it look all clean and nice. On top of here, I built a little tower and now I need a roof on top of the tower and along the rim of that top building. I did make it. I had two hump pieces left. The first building was totally done. 
Marky08 said he should have a flying boat, and that's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully, Marky, I won't disappoint. So I need to make a triangular shaped boat. Got that design done, but now we needed a sail, and I could have made a sail out of Lego, but I wanted to go above and beyond, and we're gonna make our own custom sail. Got the shape of the sail, and made my own custom sail. Then I ordered it on Snapfish, and picked it up. All I needed to do was get a cutting board and a knife and start cutting this out, and it did not work at all. Scissors work 100% better. And absolutely slapped it on. There you go, Marky. You have your flying boat. Yoda's wisdom. You need to place where the giant creature that destroys the ninjas was. I mean, the playground. The playground? Huh? This place is a torture room. It's locked! Help! Now I have to look up the name for that creature because I forget. Nimbus. Phenomenal character. Like his lightning belly. Bruh. Let's make his little house. I made a rock structure going up, looked really bad so I destroyed it, and made another rock structure, made a little bridge going out to a smaller rock structure, and put a very beautiful peach tree on it. So in the show, at this point, Cole is a ghost, and he can literally go through walls. I incorporated a gearbox, and then made one of the walls flip around super fast. So I made this cute little building, and then I made a little golden dome. This person right here asked for teddy bears and stuff, and then he asked for a pinball machine. So I full on made a cute little teddy bear colored on this slope piece to make it look like a pinball machine. Made it look as messy as I possibly could. And now it was time to add the final touch, Nimbus, the star of this show. I kind of took the body structure from Craig and made his belly absolutely shocking. And I also ripped off the hands for dog shank, and then his head was really funny. And he looked really funny and goofy, but it was a great addition. Let's go look at it. It's almost complete, other than one thing. The golden gates on the front. They came in the mail. Here we have them, right here. Let's go. Now, we have the Cloud Kingdom lock. We have nine minifigures, We've got Jay, Cole, Kai, and Zane. Then we have three monks, and then we have my custom Moro, Fenwick. And then to the star of the show, Nimbus. Very fun minifigure to make there. Let's move on to the little flying boat. So you can put a character on this paddle, and the paddle can steer the boat around. You have a sail up here. Pretty simple little boat right there. The next thing we have here is Nimbus's playhouse. You can't fit Nimbus in there. You can remove the roof and inside you have teddy bears, a pinball machine. You can also put coal by the wall and spin the wall around to make it look like he's going through the wall. On front you have a little moving cloud. You also have a peach tree over here. This is the temple where they protect the Sword of Sanctuary. You've got nice fluffy clouds at the bottom coming up to a golden gate. There's a bit of a bridge going over to the main build here. I used over 200 little hump pieces for all this roofing here. The facade is pretty simple with a bunch of white bricks, some windows, and then I put a bunch of tan pillars sticking out. There is a round gold piece, and if you turn it, the clouds flip up and the Sword of Sanctuary is revealed. Let's turn it around and check out the inside. We can see where they write out destiny. Two quill pens on either side with parchment that they're writing on, and one of the parchment is actually spilled. The next floor, we have the Sword of Sanctuary sanctuary room has the sword of sanctuary in the middle and then it has two stands with some weapons then the top floor we finally have some more writings and then of course there's a crossbow on the top to protect the sword of sanctuary so that about wraps this build up for today if you guys thought it was pretty awesome and want to build it yourself you totally can go to brick-legends.com or the link in the description where you can pick up your instructions for cloud kingdom Day. It also comes with a file for the sale, so you can print that off and make your own sale. And guess what? This thing is half off from now until this date right here. So buy it before then. With that being said, subscribe. <laughs>